Dave Weinberg from the Press of Atlantic City, longtime Eagles beat writer, going to join us now to give us a little thoughts and insight on this game. And obviously, Dave, seeing this team the last couple of weeks, uh, they're hoping to turn their season around in Green Bay tonight. You wrote about it. Uh, if there was something that needed to change, what has been something that has been consistent in the losses that needs to go away? Uh, I would say the pass rush primarily. Um, they just have to find a way to get to the quarterback, which they haven't done. Uh, as you know, they've only had two sacks this year, one by uh, Tim Jernigan, one by Anderson Dejo. Um, the guys who were supposed to or who paid the money to get to the quarterback haven't been doing it. Um, you know, I don't want to hear about quarterback pressures or hurries. Uh, you got to get the guy to the ground, and they haven't done that. So uh, it's going to be tough tonight. Uh, you know, and uh, Aaron Rodgers is one of the most elusive and um, one of the best quarterbacks to getting rid of the football. So it's going to be a challenge. But that, that's something that they, I think they have to find a way to do. Well, it's your, uh, you know, when you look at that game last week, do you look at it and say, hey, look, if uh, Jeffrey and Jackson play, they probably win because of all the drops? I mean, is it as simple as that? Or are there other factors as to why they lost that game last week? Hmm, boy, uh, that certainly didn't help, um, although I don't know that that's a money guarantee. Just look back to the last year's playoff game in New Orleans about and uh, see if Alshon Jeffrey can hang on to the football when he needs to. Oh, um, I, uh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think um, I think they got to get the running game more established. I mean, they, they, they're doing a good job of running the ball, but it's just I don't know if this committee approach is the, is the right way to go. Uh, I know it's worked for them in the past, but um, they just – I think they need to decide on one guy, and uh, they haven't done that yet. Uh, I think Miles – I think Jordan Howard needs to get a little bit more uh, more action. I think he's got to get into a little bit of a rhythm, and uh, that would be the that would be the way I would go offensively anyway. Yeah, Dave, we had Todd Harriman's on earlier, and he said the same thing, that he really – uh, that he would like to see more of Jordan Howard. And he says the run blocking has looked good so far. Um, it, it, you know, we know, Doug, they don't like to run the ball. They don't, and, and specifically, they don't like to give it to one guy, it seems like. It seems like they like to jump it around. But you sound like you would like to see more Jordan Howard than Sanders. Is that is that the way you'd lean? Yeah. I mean, you brought him in here for a reason. I, I know, you know they drafted Sanders in the second round, and I know he has a lot of potential, but um, – hasn't proven himself as far as the consistency standpoint. Um, Jordan Howard has uh, during his time in Chicago. So I think I think he's the guy that um, if you're going to go with one, and I think it's, I don't want to say just exclusively, but I think that they need to get uh, Howard a little more involved. It seems like he's kind of like the kind of guy that would benefit from the chance of getting multiple carries, getting a chance to get into that rhythm that all running backs like to do. Uh, I think if they do that, they, they might have success. Dave uh, Ryan here, and uh, you know the Eagles have had essentially no success early on in games. Last week, finally did a little something, putting up 10 points there. But the Packers, on the other hand, have had a lot of success early on in games. Do you look at that as a key tonight, or is that a little bit uh, overrated? No, it's not overrated, um, especially if you're on the road. Um, to fall behind early, I think, is, is a real dangerous way to go. Uh, Green Bay and Lambeau Field, I mean, that's a that's a very uh, special environment. The uh, crowd really gets into it. And if you give them a reason to get behind the Packers, as in you fall behind early, I think it's going to be that much tougher to, to come back. So, uh, no, I don't think that's overlooked at all. I think it's a very real uh, real situation that the Eagles have. They have to find a way to 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 get off the better stars like they did last week and, and maybe take the crowd out of it a little bit. Now, turnovers and drops and penalties been an issue with this team, and now they're on a short week going on the road into a very tough place to play. Does that change the game plan at all, you think, for Doug? How do they try and hold on to the ball and then on the flip side force Aaron Rodgers and the Packers maybe into some stupid mistakes and get the ball a couple extra times? Um, that's easier said than done. Yes. Especially on a short week. Um, and everybody knows Doug is 4-0 in Thursday night games, so he knows how to prepare for them. But um, I don't – I think they're probably – I think they've had success on Thursday nights because they simplify the game plan. Um, they don't try to, to uh, get out of their element too much. Um, it's, you know, you say, you say hold on to the ball, and, and you, you would think that they'd be able to do that. But um, 
putting it on the ground as much as he did last week. That's real concerning. I don't expect them to have that kind of uh, collapse, if you will, the way they did last week. But um, you're, you're right. It is imperative for them to hold on the ball and to, to make the catches when they when they have the opportunities to. Um, I don't see Aaron Rodgers making any stupid mistakes, though. He's just uh, he's just too good to do that. Well, and their offense has been a problem, too. I mean, if you're listening to, yeah. you know, Milwaukee or Green Bay radio out <laughs> there, uh, they're talking about how, the, you know, they're putting up less than 370 total yards a game in all three games. So is it worrisome that they're ready to break out, or is their offense just not as good as maybe we think they are? I don't think their offense is all that explosive. As, as John uh, had mentioned earlier, they got Devontae Adams, and that's basically it. So I don't – see them but Rodgers I mean he's he's got that special ability to, to take a, you know advantage of whatever weaknesses he sees um, you know there are guys on the team that maybe you don't even never heard of but um, he knows what they're capable of doing and I think he has a way of um, bringing out the best in them I mean he hasn't done it yet this year but you know I wouldn't be surprised if it happens today although uh, um, the Eagles defense they, they 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 do give up points on occasion but they Jim Schwartz always has a way of, um, I guess, the bending boat, but uh, not breaking, I guess, is the best way to put it. But it's going to be um, – I think points are going to kind of be hard to come by for both teams tonight. So, Rasul Douglas is getting the start. Darby is out. What your thoughts on the impact there? And where maybe some mismatches that, that you see that the Eagles' defense can have an advantage? Oh, boy. If um, any. <laughs> I don't really see any. Um, I hate to say that, but I know and Ronald Darby. He's, he's just a, he's such a uh, confusing guy to get a read on because I mean he has all that talent in the world, but he's always hurt, and uh, they definitely haven't gotten you know what they expected out of him. Um, Russell has a, has a lot of ability as well, but he takes some chances sometimes that he's that he probably shouldn't take. Uh, his aggressiveness is both a blessing and a curse, I guess. You know he. He comes up with a big play on occasion, but he can get burned on a big play too. So, um, I don't. I honestly don't know how the defense is going to uh, to factor into this from the Eagles' standpoint. Um, you know, I don't see any matchups there that are really like in their favor. Um, Green Bay's offensive line is pretty good, which doesn't bode well for the Eagles' pass rush. Uh, I guess they're going to have to try and blitz a little more, and uh, you know, as they did a couple weeks ago, and you know, if they can get to him that way, that might be an advantage, I guess. Dave, uh, tonight, you know, they haven't lost with Doug on Thursdays. Uh, Green Bay hasn't lost. Uh, something's got to give. Which way do you see it? I see Doug going 4-1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the Packers in the under, uh, which, you know, which is what my Ocean Casino bet slip says. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't – I. You know, if the Eagles were home, I think I might go the other way. But the fact that they had to, you know, they're kind of banged up. Um, though they're, they're very banged up. Uh, had to get on a plane, fly to Green Bay yesterday, um, playing in playing at Lambeau Field. I just don't see them uh, pulling it out. I mean, I've been wrong before. Obviously, I picked them to win last week, which is my mistake. So, but mm. um, I think that I think they have a they have a chance. But I, I think the Packers are going to are going to take it. All right, Dave likes the uh, pack in the under tonight uh, if you're out there with a bet slip. All right, Dave Weinberg from the Press of Atlantic City, Eagles and Packers. You can listen to it live coming up on 97.3 ESPN. Thanks, Dave. Oh, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ryan. Hope you're yeah, right. Yeah, man. Better.